Hi, we're Lynn and Rowan, and thanks for watching this video presentation of the property. Well, hi folks, and welcome to number 19 Palomar Court in Mount Louisa. So we're uh, in an elevated position on uh, Crestbrook here, and we've got a lovely four by two by two property for you to look at. Uh, we're looking here at the hard stand area. Now that's perfect for a caravan or a boat or a trailer. You can park that off the street and a little bit out of the way there. That's set right beside the double lock-up garage for, for two vehicles and that's got a remote control panel lift door as well. So four bedrooms, two bathrooms, double car plus that hard stand area. Property is about 10 years old, built by Case Constructions. Now just inside the door here we've got this central hallway which leads to the first of the living spaces and that is this little uh, lounge area here on the right hand side. The home's fully air conditioned and you can see the split system air conditioner on the wall there. Nice high ceilings in this living room as well and a couple of big windows uh, which can be shut, shut off with the uh, timber Venetian blinds that you can see there. Tiles on the floor in all of the living areas and the bedrooms are carpeted. So that's the first of the living spaces. Now as we come back out into the hallway, you'll see that the home opens right up into this lovely open plan living area. We've got the high pitched ceilings there which add extra space and light. And to the right here is the dining room. So you can see that's an eight seater dining setting that we've got there and it has direct access out to the outdoor area as well. Across to the other side of the room there is a, uh, a lounge room. You've got that feature wall there which highlights the pitched, high pitched ceilings. Uh, the, these owners have got a pool table there but you could certainly have a nice big lounge there as well. And in the centre of that living space is the kitchen. Now we'll go and have a good look at the kitchen uh, but I just wanted to highlight the fact that there's loads of storage in there and um, the island bench there as well. And you look straight out to the outdoor uh, area there and you can see that there's lots of space with those extra high ceilings. So as far as appliances go, we've got a ceramic cooktop there and the range hood overhead. We've also got space for your microwave and there's an electric oven there as well. To the right of that oven, you've got the corner pantry that you can see that door there opens up into that. And there's shelving on top of those cupboards there as well. So we've got loads and loads of overhead cupboards as well as uh, under bench cupboards and there's a space there for your refrigerator as well. So the tiles are the same all the way through the living areas and when we turn back around here you can see the island bench which has got more drawers in it plus cupboards and a Bosch stainless steel dishwasher. Plus there is the double sinks there as well. So we're on a 735 square metre block here uh, and the block's well utilised, there's a, an in-ground pool there as well, um, but the home is 265 square metres under roof, so it's a sizeable home, larger than the average style 4x2 uh, and you can see that as we go through. So down this hallway here, the bedrooms are all uh, separate to the living space and as I walk towards that door there, if I was to go in through that door, that is the double garage there. So it's offset from the home, but it has direct access straight into that hallway. This is one of the four bedrooms. Now you can see all of the bedrooms have got security screens and insect screens. There's carpets to the floors, uh, air conditioning, ceiling fans, and also the built-in cupboards. So that's probably the smallest of the, of the four bedrooms, that one there. And right across the hall, we've got another of the bedrooms. So this is bedroom number three. Built-ins again, ceiling fans, air conditioning. The same features are through all of the all of the bedrooms there. So along the hallway a bit further, we're coming to the bathroom and the toilet, but there's bedroom number two. So we've got um, that one there has got the same sort of features with the carpets, uh, air conditioner, ceiling fans, built-ins, etc. Right beside that, there's the separate toilet there. And the main bathroom's a really good size and it's finished in a really nice blue tile. So you can see there's a corner shower and that's got the glass screen. There's also a um, extraction fan overhead. There's the vanity mirror and vanity. And what every family needs, there is a bathtub there as well for the kids. So it's, um, it's well laid out and it is spacious. And it has got that separate toilet. So further along the hall, we can, we're passing the living areas again on the right there, we come to the laundry. 
Now, as far as laundry goes, this is this is a very good one from the point of view that it's got lots and lots of storage. There's a whole wall of sliding door storage cupboards there. You've also got cupboards on the left and direct outside access through that security screen door to the line. Last but not least, we've got the master bedroom. Now with this one, it is set away from the other bedrooms at the end of the home. Those mirror doors there actually slide across to conceal what is a walk-in robe as well as the ensuite. Same sort of carpet on the floors and as we move over towards the windows, you'll see when you look outside, there is a really nice view of the in-ground pool from those windows there. So it's a, um, it's a very good size room and it's got those higher windows there above the, the bed as well. So turning around, we get into the ensuite. You'll see there's a toilet, uh, nice tiles there. You've got a walk-in shower. Now that's got a shower head on each end. So it's a double shower and a double vanity with double basins and a nice big mirror. So it's good for the, um, for the ensuite. Okay, that's inside done with. So let's go outside and take a look. As I said, it's uh, 265 square meters under roof. Um, those, those high pitched ceilings on a 735 square metre block and the home was built by Case Constructions, it's about 10 years old. So as we come out of this uh, door here from that living area, you'll see that there's a tiled patio area at the rear and that also is accessed from the dining space through that sliding door there as well. So dual access to that area and when you look across from there, you'll see that that lovely in-ground pool is right at your doorstep. Good thing about the pool is it has got seating around about two thirds of the of the property under the underwater seating there, lovely and refreshing. And beyond there, there's a there's a pool fence to the left, and that is actually more grassed area out there. So you can contain pets and kids, um, you know, within the fenced areas as well. Just off to the side of the home, there there is a single gate entry there, and your pool filter has also got that roof cover over the top of it to protect it from the weather. So folks, we are going to be doing open houses on this one. It's a great house in a great suburb, terrific size property. Uh, as you can see, it's very open plan. They're always popular, these styles of homes in this suburb. We don't expect it to last. So if you would like to have a look at it, please give us a call or send us an email. We'll be doing open houses, as I said, but we can do a private inspection if you want, want to get in outside of those times. So we look forward to hearing from you. So if you're looking to buy or planning to sell, please give us a call today. We'd love to help you.